I thank the speaker, and I would like to yield uh, two minutes to uh, Ms. Uh, Giffords of, of Arizona, who is a, a sponsor of, of this bill and has uh, also worked with uh, citizens in her region ever since she came to this Congress to secure the border and to make certain that the citizens of, of Arizona and the border region were, uh, were safe and, and protected. From Arizona is recognized. Thank you, Chairman Price, for your leadership. Mr. Chairman, the last couple of days have been extremely difficult for me because I represent the most porous part of the U.S.-Mexico border. And I'm thinking right now about Rob Krentz, a fifth-generation Arizona rancher whose family ranched on their land since before Arizona even achieved statehood. On March 27th, Rob Krentz was heartlessly murdered on his land. Murdered on his land that was in his family's hands for over 100 years. Five years ago, the Tucson sector of the Border Patrol apprehended over 500,000 illegal immigrants in my community. Last year, 242,000 illegal immigrants were apprehended in the Tucson sector of the Border Patrol. And year to date, we're at over 180,000 illegal immigrants apprehended in the Tucson sector. Last year, we hit another record, 1.2 million pounds of marijuana seized in the Tucson sector. So for those of you who are saying that this is not critical, that keeping Americans safe, whether you live directly on the border or you live in other parts of the country, is outrageous. The federal government needs to step up and take responsibility now and stop pointing fingers and blaming other people. So for those senators who voted no last week, they said no to those ranchers who live along the U.S.-Mexico border. They said no to those National Guard troops who are being deployed next week, not in a vacuum, with resources coming in behind them. And they said no to fellow law enforcement officials, those who are not going to be receiving Operation Stone Garden grants. I think, Mr. Chairman, this is outrageous that the federal government, the United States Congress, Democrats and Republicans working together are not fixing this problem. Because in Arizona, in my sector, with my constituents, this is our BP oil spill crisis. But this crisis has not been going on for a couple of months. It's been going on for years, years and years. And now, tonight, is our opportunity to step up and finally do something about it. So, Mr. Chairman, you can only understand how outrageous I find this debate to be. And I urge my members to support this bill. Thank you.